All right. Hey there. Welcome. Right now we're going to be making some aromatic bath salts together. So if you want to make your own, feel free to make your own along with me. So what you're going to need is some Epsom salt, some carrier oil. So for me, I'm using jojoba oil. I keep it in a little <laughs> yogurt container because it leaks. But you can also use something like fractionated coconut oil, not the solid one, but the one that's always liquid. So the fractionated coconut oil or your carrier oil of preference, keeping in mind that carrier oils do have shorter shelf life, so you make sure it's still fresh. And then essential oils. Another thing you're going to need is a bowl to put it all in, then to measure a one cup measuring cup, <laughs> and then a tablespoon. So for me, I have um, just a teaspoon, so I'll be using three teaspoons because that equals a tablespoon. So I don't know about you, but I know for me, when I am feeling like I have a lot of anxious feelings, stressful feelings, I feel like there's a lot of tension in my mind, in my body, and I just need a reset. Taking an aromatic bath is something that just like does it for me. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And hopefully this will benefit someone watching this. So I'm actually going to um, start right now. And before I start, actually... I want to say that depending on why you're taking the bath, is it to have relaxation of the mind? Is it because you have muscular stuff going on? You want to relax the muscles, depending on what your focus is for the bath or using the essential oil, that's going to change which essential oil you're going to be using. So for me, like I said, I just want to really just kind of release those anxious feelings, that tension in my body, tension in my mind. And I just want a whole like, I guess, nervous system reset. I know technically we don't reset our nervous system. But just for lack of better words, I just feel so refreshed when I come out of a bath like this. So I'm going to name some essential oils that I find really helpful. I'm actually going to kind of pull it down here. You can see there's a watermelon on my freezer. Um, so some essential oils that could be really helpful for this would include essential oils like vetiver. We have sandalwood, uh, lavender, and lavender, I'm talking lavender langustifolia, not the other lavenders. So if you're using a real pure essential oil, it should have the Latin name. Patchouli is a good one. Cedarwood, geranium, um, wild orange or sweet orange, so citrus sinensis, Roman chamomile, clary sage, black spruce, frankincense, um, sweet marjoram, so Oregana Margiorana and Bergamot are good ones. Um, I will say that everyone is affected different by different essential oils. So if you have some of these essential oils at home and uh, you don't know which one you want to put in your bath, I would say choose like one or three, one to three. That's normally what I do. And just kind of see which ones smell really good to you, which ones really evoke that calmness to you, which ones do you feel like really resonate with you because sometimes when we smell essential oil and we're just like okay this is what I need like we know sometimes intuitively what we need intuitively what we need so feel free to just smell those oils if you have any of these and which ones you feel would really resonate with you um, I'll give you some cool combinations that I've personally used and I've personally liked um, I like using frankincense and lavender together sometimes if I have um, a lot of like muscular tension and also need to relax the mind. Marjoram, sweet marjoram is so helpful. Sometimes I'll use it just marjoram, that's it. Sometimes I'll do some marjoram, some frankincense. Roman chamomile is really awesome as well. Um, sometimes vetiver and bergamot, I've put that combo together, really fantastic. Um, but I will say, be careful with the phototoxic essential oils. Um, phototoxic essential oils are essential oils that when you have them on your skin, um, if you go out in the UV rays, whether that be a tanning bed or the sun, you risk having a phototoxic reaction. It basically, um, it's a delayed reaction and it basically looks like a really, 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 really nasty sunburn. Sometimes it'll blister and get really disgusting. So bergamot, for example, is phototoxic. And a lot of the citruses are, but then some that are not citruses. So I mean, always do research on the oils you're using to see what the safety considerations are. Um, so yeah, if you're doing a bath in the morning, don't use a phototoxic oil. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So I'm actually gonna share with you my, uh, what it looks like here as I mix it, because I think it'll be a lot more helpful for you guys to have that visual. So what I normally do, as you can kind of see here, is I'll start with adding the carrier oil first. 
and I will add a tablespoon. And remember that I have a teaspoon because my tablespoon is taken. So I will put three teaspoons, because three teaspoons equal a tablespoon. And this is the carrier oil. Put that there. And I have decided while I was preparing for this video that the essential oils I felt like I really wanted to use were bergamot and geranium. And I thought, you know what, maybe I actually want to add frankincense too, because frankincense is really relaxing and um, I think it'd be really great for grounding. So usually when I do make a bath salt, our mag bath salt, or I just put essential oils in my bath, I will dilute it with a carrier oil. And I'll use usually between three and 10 drops of essential oil. Of course, that can change. I mean, if I was pregnant, if you guys have watched any of my videos on pregnancy, I would not exceed the four drops of essential oil in my bath if I was pregnant. I'm not pregnant though. So I feel comfortable doing, um, I'm going to say probably like nine. I might put three drops of each. So that's what I feel good with. That's what I feel like I want. And I don't usually take aromatic baths. So I'm okay with being on the higher spectrum of the three to 10. And you will see that different places will have different recommendations as well of how many drops to put in your bath. Me, like I said, three to 10 is usually what I go for. So I put three drops of bergamot, three drops of frankincense, and three drops of geranium. Um, so my bergamot is actually not phototoxic, so um, I'm not too concerned, but it is during the nighttime, so I'm not concerned either way, even if it was in the morning. So I'm going to stir it up so it really blends in. And then I'm going to get the Epsom salt. And something I want to say, because... When I was looking for Epsom salt, I went to Walmart and I saw a lot of Walmart um, Epsom salts had essential oils in them, which I will tell you right now, I don't believe are real essential oils that are synthetic. And when you use synthetic fragrances and you think they're essential oils, they're not, you're not getting the aromatic, you know, the therapeutic properties of it. And it's just, you know, it's synthetic. It's not natural. So I got the unscented. So it's just Epsom salt in here. Thank goodness. <laughs> so just be mindful of that just because things say they have essential oils and it doesn't mean they're actually essential oils it's sad but it's true so i'm hoping you can hear this i'm hoping you can hear this at the end of I me mean, even though that i am making noise around my mic so i'll put about a cup of epsom salt i used to always just kind of put the epsom salt in my bath and then put the oil in it, um, but I just did this recently with foot bath and I thought it was so kind of therapeutic to be able to, you know, mix the salts and everything together before putting in my bath. So I'm gonna get here right in the middle and I'm just gonna mix it. I mean, do I really need to mix it? No, but I just think it's so fun and nice to be mixing this. Again, I hope that the sounds of me mixing is not too loud on my mic. And, Oh, it smells so nice. And the Epsom salt is really good for relaxing muscles as well. But even if I don't use Epsom salt, it is still going to be a therapeutic aromatic bath for me. And if you want to get really bougie, <laughs> um, which I feel like being tonight, I'm going to add some dried lavender, like buds, flowers in it. Oh, yeah. Um, just because I think they smell really lovely. I'm hoping I don't regret this with my drain. <laughs> so yeah, and this is what I'm going to be using tonight. I'll just be dropping it into my bath. I'll probably be lighting a candle. And uh, yeah, if you choose to do so, I hope you enjoy your bath. Take care of yourself. Relax. You deserve it. Um, and drink lots of water. Have a nice big bottle of water beside you as you take your bath. Anyways, I hope you guys... Oh, that's noisy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And um, take care, bye bye.